Okay, so welcome to today's meditation. We're going to be practicing a subtle body cleansing technique today to sweep away excess prana that might be hanging around in the different layers of the body. So this is a good way to get a nice clean start. So we'll begin by scanning the layers of the body. Find a comfortable seat. Close your eyes if that's comfortable. Notice your physical body and how it feels here today. Notice any little tension in the body, any pain, anything that feels uncomfortable. And do the best here to find some comfort and support for your body. And then notice your energy today. The energy in the body, the prana. Take note of your mental space, what's happening in the mind, how busy the mind is today. And then notice your emotional body, the feeling tones of the body right now. And what we're going to do today is we're going to use the breath to leap from these layers, these different layers of the body. We start with the physical body, the outer layer, and we work towards deeper layers, towards the subtle and then the causal body. So let's begin. First, focus on your posture. How your body is sitting here. We know that posture affects mood. Mood affects your appearance, as in your posture. We know that when people walk upright, for example, with an open heart, they usually have a positive outlook on life, whereas people who are slouching with a sunken heart are often sad or defeated. So we can tell a lot from posture about people's state of mind. So if we change our posture, we can also change our mood because the two are interrelated like all layers of the body. Everything is related, not separate. So we can work with the body to change our mind state and our mood. So if you lift the sternum to open the heart, so the chest, and if you roll your shoulders back, then already you're getting more prana, more flow into the lungs, and that gives us a sense of lifting, lifting the mood. So notice, can you find a posture here that's more open? and expansive. And then once you've found that posture, we'll start with three full cleansing breaths. So the cleansing breaths are about releasing excess tension here that might be sitting on the outer layers of the body. So we do that with a nice big sigh, we sigh out. So the longer, the stronger the sigh, the more you get to release. And in order to have a nice big sigh out, you need a nice deep breath in. So inhale through the nose. And as you do that, find that lifting of the sternum and rolling the shoulders down and getting really long here in the neck. And then a big sigh out. <sighs> and as you sigh out, notice how everything softens and relaxes. And then take another big breath in. So that's that opposite opening and lifting sensation. Fill up with prana and then a nice big ah, releasing, sweeping out the surface tension. And one more big inhale, lift, roll the shoulders back. <clears throat> and a big sigh out. 
Good. All right. So now that we've dealt with the outer layer, with the physical body, with the posture, we'll go into the mental body. <clears throat> And we're going to use the breath here to sweep away clutter in the mind. We do this by watching the thoughts, watching the types of thoughts that are entering the mind. And the one question we're going to work with today is, do I need this thought? A thought comes, you ask do I need this thought? If the answer is no, you will sweep it away with your exhale. Now you can use visualization for this if this works better for you, perhaps a wind sweeping away the excess stuff, if that works for you. So we're going to spend a couple of minutes here in silence to work with the mental body, watching the thoughts and asking that question and then sweeping away with the breath, beginning now. Don't force anything to happen, just wait. Wait for the thoughts to naturally enter in their own time. And then it's a contemplative practice. Watching the thought and asking that question. And then gently sweeping it away. If you don't need that particular thought. Another minute. Let's work with just one final thought here. And then release that practice and come back to the body. Just notice if your posture has changed, if there's any hunching of the shoulders, if you're getting a little bit <clears throat> sloppy in your seat so that you're getting perhaps a little fuzzy in the mind. So again, see if you can lift the sternum, roll the shoulders back, not in any kind of uh, stiff and rigid way. It's still relaxed, but very open. <clears throat> okay, we're going to work now with the emotional layer of the body. So bringing your awareness now to the heart space in the middle of the chest. Notice if there's anything here in the heart space that feels tight, any feelings that are stuck or uneasy. And now we're going to add kindness or friendliness 
to the breath. So when you're breathing, you'll be breathing with that quality of kindness. So breathing into the heart with kindness or with love or with friendliness, whichever works best for you, you're opening that space in the heart. And when you're breathing out, you're actually releasing anything that feels like it's stuck, like it might be negative, that it's not kind. So let's practice that for a minute. Breathing in kindness into the heart so that it's full. It feels abundant. It feels supported. And then if there's anything that doesn't resonate with that quality, you're breathing it out of the body, sweeping it out of the body, cleansing the heart space. Stay focused on bringing that quality of kindness into the heart. A few more breaths here. And then after your next exhale, return to normal breath, releasing the conscious breath, and just notice how it feels when you bring kindness into this part of the body, this layer, the emotional layer of the body. Now we're going to move to the energy body, the pranic body. And we're going to use alternate nostril breathing, Nadi Shodana. So today we don't need to use our hands. We can just use it hands-free so that our arms don't get sore. Bring your awareness to your left nostril. Breathe in through the left nostril and take the breath up to the third eye between the brows. Pause there for a moment and breathe out through the right nostril, bringing the breath out of the right nostril, releasing all the breath out of the body, and then pause there, empty for a beat or two. Then we're gonna breathe back up that same side on the right, back to the third eye. Little pause at the top, exhaling through the left nostril all the way out, pause, and that's one full round. So we'll do another side, another round. So when we breathe in the right side, we're activating the sympathetic nervous system and on the left, the parasympathetic nervous system. So we're bringing balance to our nervous system. And if you can, don't forget to bring kindness to the breath, that quality of friendliness, of support. So let's do another round. I'll walk you through it again. Bring your awareness to the left nostril. Breathe in through the left, up to the third eye, and a little pause. 
Breathe out through the right all the way out. Release the breath and again, hold. Breathe in through that side, the right side, back to the third eye. Pause at the top and exhale all the way out through the left and pause. Okay, so that's two rounds. We'll do one more round, but this time do it in your own breath, your own timing, and make sure that you're not holding longer than what is comfortable for your body. So we want to stay relaxed. The shoulders stay down. Don't hold the breath too long. Okay, one more round, starting on the left. So Nadi Shadana balances the left and the right hemispheres of the breath, of the brain, and that leads to clarity and focus. So it's an excellent practice for meditation, something that you can practice at home when you're meditating. Okay, so now let's move from the pranic layer of the body into the causal body, which is the wisdom body. So here we begin to develop our sense of discernment. And from a breathing point of view, this happens in the kumbhaka, which is the retention. So we've just been practicing a little bit of kumbhaka there when we were at the third eye, that little hold. And then when the breath was completely out of the body, that little hold. And this is where we find that release and that sense of space where the wisdom body occurs. So let's use a mudra for this one. So your thumb and forefinger lightly touching. Rest your hands on your lap. This is jhana mudra, the mudra of knowledge and wisdom, which is what we're practicing here. So we're going to use both nostrils this time. Breathe in through both nostrils. And at the end of the inhale, pause the breath for as long as com is comfortable. So maybe a beat or two or more. And then try to exhale slowly, bringing all the air out of the body. And then when you're empty of air and prana, hold there. And then start again without stressing the body. So this, this is like, imagine you're on a path and each time you hold the breath, you're just stepping off the path of your life for a moment. You're having a little pause, which gives you the ability to step back and contemplate, reflect. And it's through this reflection, through this pause that we develop wisdom so we need to slow down and to take the time to observe and this is of course an analogy for day-to-day -day life the ability to slow down to pause and to reflect is how we develop wisdom not by go being on go 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 all the time so let's spend a minute Focusing on the kumbhakas here of your breath and noticing that sensation of silence.
Do three more breaths, nice and slow. Okay, releasing that conscious breath. Just notice how you feel. So it's in those kumbhakas, in those spaces that we allow ourselves to release worries, anxieties, fears, and let all that dissolve. Okay, so it's a cleansing technique, emptying the clutter of the mind so that there is space for wisdom and contemplation. So like we did before, we're going to do another minute of this, but using this attitude of friendliness or compassion, gratitude with the breath so that your breath is actually bringing that into the practice, that added um, quality. So let's try one more minute working with that space. Bringing kindness into the breath. Three more, nice and slow. Focusing on the breath, letting go in the retentions. All right, releasing now, release the conscious breath. Notice your posture again. Notice if there's been any change there. Bring your palms together now, Anjali Mudra. Lightly touching the sternum with your thumbs. And take a little moment to notice how you feel. Notice the space that you've created in your practice today in all the different layers and whether some particular layers were more prominent for you than others. Notice a sense of spaciousness. And then bring the thumbs to the third eye and lightly bowing forward and give yourself thanks for taking the time here today to practice. <laughs> 